Good day, folks. I'd like to talk to you today about my um, various projects here. Um, the cap dump circuits and the Bedini motors and the back EMF generators. Um, I'm noticing from the comments, a lot of people are trying to replicate. Some of them are successful and very good for you because it's really interesting things and, and topics. However, there's some folks, you know, those who are just starting out, um, they get a little confused about the back EMF coils, the impedances, and even the uh, dynamics of the uh, cap dump circuits and how to wire the um, neon and the SCR and such. So um, I found a way that could really simplify the process, and I want to show this to you guys here so you can see it for yourself. So. Um, Here's a solution for you. These are available for sale on eBay. I'm pulling it up right now for you. And just to show you what it looks like so you can get it yourself. And this is what it looks like. It's basically a 10, well, a 1000 kilovolt step up voltage pulse generator. So this is a very uh, high voltage pulse generator. And as you see from the price, it's like $3 US. So I've got like 10 of these, like all the different models they have. These things, folks, are great for all kinds of experimentations. Let me tell you why. It may not be obvious at first, but I've had a long time to experiment with these. And let me tell you, you can do a lot because they run very efficient. And I don't know if you watch my other movies, but when I talk, it's all about efficiency. My trigger circuit's taking only milliwatts. I, I don't, you know, current, I don't want to see it in my triggers because it's a waste the way I see it because we can use other systems anyways the point is um, this device here I measured it folks and it takes about 4 milliamps to make it work at about 1.5 volts so as far as an input trigger this is right where it's got to be so it's pre-made it's not specifically a Bedini um, oscillator but it works on very similar principles and at the end of the day you end up having a similar effect where you get a very high voltage for a very low to I call it zero current but technically you know it's in the nano watts because it's so so we just call it zero current but you know technically speaking there is a small fraction amount you know statistical value more than anything else and uh, with that high voltage on its own usually you know other than running neons and maybe certain um, um, gas lights, you know, the fluorescence, um, you can't really do much with this. It's, it's almost like an electrostatic, basically. But the way we do it, this could be used as a replacement for all these complex coils some people are having a hard time with. They're asking me, how do you get it down to 0 0.9 ohms? Where do you get the thick cable and all of that? This could eliminate all that. You just need to buy yourself a few of these. And I've got a schematic that I'll show you later, just in a few moments, how to wire this up. Very simplified, 1.5 volt input, and this device will um, trigger the neon circuits that I have no problem, the cap dump. So this will charge a 10 UF capacitor in moments. You'll get a few clicks a second, no problem with this. And that's where, you know, it acts as a buffer. It gives us some, it's almost like a pressure tank. You know, it builds up voltage in the capacitor. The capacitor reaches its threshold. Then the, the, the trigger goes on and it releases that all in one shot in amps a second. So it's converting our voltage back into a form of current. So that's pretty efficient. However, again, it's to be creative, folks. So my point is this thing only runs on, you know, four milliwatts, sorry, four milliamps. So you can trigger it with various systems that I've talked about. Hydro, if you've got a, an efficient system. Wind, if you've got wind. Solar, if you've got solar. Even building your own cells, galvanic cells. Um, my point is, you could be very creative and be creative with the trigger. And this is a way that you could, quote unquote, you know, free energy in the sense that you don't have to pay for it. If you can use this as a trigger now. And by using this system, you know, obviously it's a lot simpler to um, experiment with so this is the start for you and of course you know you can do more with this and i hope you um, have more success experimenting with this device